Today we're at Duncannon Fort in County Wexford on the Hook Peninsula to run Ghostology. So you'll all be at the end of today, hopefully, ghostologists. This the course is actually designed for anybody with an interest in, in ghosts. That can be somebody who's maybe watched one of the television programmes. But it's not about me telling you how to be a ghost hunter. It's about giving you the foundation stones. Because I, it would be wrong of me to turn around and say, this is how you do it. Because different locations, different teams, different, you know, some teams are small, large. The dynamics of different teams works differently. But these basic foundation stones work universally. Ghostology is, as it says on the tin, it is the ology, the study of ghosts. Ghosts being defined as apparitions, hauntings, all of those spontaneous phenomena that we lump under the category of ghosts. This is entirely down to you to do. The dynamics of different teams works differently, but these basic foundation stones work universally. And the course is also aimed at making you guys the ghost hunters. So I won't be dragging you around the location. When people have an experience, there is always somebody like me, like many people here, who want to study that experience. The second half of the, of the Ghostology course is actually putting those skills, those ideas into practice. I'm looking forward to putting what we've learned now into practice. As in, it's like going back to the basics of ghost hunting without the equipment, using what we have, our five senses, and rolling with that and seeing what results we get from that. Try and um, be logical through the whole investigation is going to be very, very difficult for me, I think, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. Participants themselves will set up their own teams, they will devise the methods, they will implement the investigation. We do not know about ghosts, and I defy anybody watching this video to define a ghost. The sun has now set over Duncannon Fort. The teams have divided into four groups, and they've gone out to their locations. They now have four hours, four locations, four teams. They have to conduct their investigation, evaluate the results, and then later on present their findings to their peers. face questions from the other team members, uh, from myself and from members of Wexford Paranormal. They're probably feeling a little unfamiliar, trepidation, some excitement perhaps, um, hope uh, that something might happen. Uh, in a couple of hours time that those feelings may be replaced by boredom, um, cold, the desire to be anywhere else but a Duncannon Fort. So it'd be interesting to see how the night progresses. I've done a walkthrough of every room, uh, just to kind of get boundaries. And we kind of centred ourselves here as we can kind of, uh, for the last tw 20 minutes, just to try and get in. Um, we can hear more, see more. We can hear downstairs as well as upstairs a bit more as well. We have noticed though, like, you know, if we're chatting amongst ourselves, like it's in the background kind of thing. But again, it's pretty windy out there tonight. Who's just the master? Can I just two bangs, and it was quite clear, wasn't it? Or Carol, I should say, down here. But pop up, it's been, it's been quiet. But it will be hard to hear anything with the wind outside anyway. I'm not feeling claustrophobic, but I am feeling a tightness yeah. when it comes to breathing. It's just coming to two o'clock in the morning. We're now standing in an empty fort. Teams have conducted their investigations. They've presented their findings and their evidence. They've described their methods and they've all now left. The ghosts of Duncannon Fort will remain 
a conundrum for what is a paranormal to solve. The information that was gathered tonight by the investigators will add to that investigate to that overall information pool and maybe one day we'll learn a little more about what is a ghost. And that's essentially what ghostology is all about. Trying to discover more about this interesting human experience.